All right. Blue Sage Studios. This will be a demonstration on glass blowing, but it won't be so much of the blowing through the tube on the glass, but it will be a step-by-step -step procedure making a paperweight. The glass from the oven will have other glass added to it, which is a combination of red, white, and blue. Our finished product will be a paperweight size of the baseball and it'll be similar to the one shown here. That will be the finished product. Now Andy Boatman has provided this video so you can see step by step the process of applying glass to glass, to heat, and shaping. We're going to take a quick look at the clock to show us how much time it takes us to go through the procedure. It is 20 minutes after 6. We are ready to begin. Yes, indeed. We've laid out some color here. This is called Frit. It's little chips of color, glass, red, white, and blue. And this is size one and size zero on the frit. We'll be using that to add color to the clear glass today. So over here we have a pipe warmer. And on the pipe warmer we keep the blow pipes and punties. We'll be using a solid punty rod today to gather the glass on. The tip of it's been heated because glass won't stick to cold steel, we have to heat it up first. So I'm gonna dip into the furnace, it's 2,000 degrees, and pick up a gather of clear glass. So I go in, I rest on the shelf, I raise up, push forward into the glass, touch and turn three times, two, three. Come up to parallel, lift, and come out, keep turning the glass, just at a slight angle down. Now I'm heading over to the bench to do some shaping. I rest on the rail, step in, slide back, and keep turning the glass nice and steady and even. I'm going to use a little pair of tweezers here to pinch the glass. And that'll pick up two little air bubbles on my next gather of clear glass. All the time I'm turning nice and smooth, easy. And I'm letting that glass cool down so I can get another layer of clear on top. So we'll head back over to the furnace. As I stand, I push forward, step out, slide back, keep turning, and into the furnace. So once again, it's three turns in the glass. Rest on the shelf, raise up, push forward, touch in, turn one, two, three, up to parallel, lift and come out. Keep turning the glass, steady and even. And I'm heading right to the color to pick up some color. So for this particular paperweight, I'm going to come straight down, rest, lift and turn, and come straight down again. And now I head into the glory hole to melt in the color. So waist level, parallel, always turning, rest on the yoke, slide into the heat. This particular paperweight gets a nice twist to the color. So in the heat, I'm turning one direction, and the glass starts to twist on itself. If you don't want the twist, you turn back and forth, nice and even and smooth. Parallel, always turning, nice and easy. 
come out of the glory hole, make sure to clear the door, lift up, keep turning, waist level parallel, touch down on the marver table to shake and cool the glass. Now here I'm giving it a little bit extra twist with that downward pressure and that twists the color. So it gets for a nice pretty pattern. Then I'm going to head back over to the bench and rest for a moment. So slide forward, step in, slide back, and keep turning. Trying to keep that glass nice and centered and even. It's much too hot to gather over, so I'm letting that glass cool down. Just steady and even turn, nice and smooth. In just a moment, I'll get another layer of clear glass on top of gather. And then I'll be coming over to use the blocks to shape. I use the cherry wood block to give upward pressure and outward pressure at a slight angle. That will give a nice round shape, but also pull the glass off of the blow pipe or the punty. And it's just about ready now. We've lost a lot of the heat. Just a nice dull red color there on the punty rod. So as I stand, I push forward, step out, back, and into the furnace. So once again, three turns. Rest on the shelf. Raise up, push forward, turn one, turn two, Turn three, I'm going to back out just a little bit and let a little bit of the glass drip off in the tank. Parallel, lift, come out. Keep the glass turning, waist level, parallel, always turning. Back to the bench, slide, back, sit, just keep turning. Try to keep that glass right in the middle of the punty. So with my cherry wood block, I come straight up and then give a little bit of an angle and give upward and outward pressure to shape the glass nice and smooth and round. Then I'm going to begin my jack line. So I use the straight jacks and start to apply gentle, even feather pressure where I want the glass to break free from the punty. Nice and even, steady. Don't want to squeeze too hard. But I'm out of heat, so I need a little more heat, and I'll jack again. So jacks down, slide, back, and into the... So I rest on the yoke, slide into the glory hole, and I'll turn nice and smooth. Four turns, reverse direction, and four turns. Four turns and four turns. And that should be enough heat to let me cut in that jack line a little bit deeper. So I head back to the bench, slide, back, down, right to the straight jacks to cut in that neckline. So as I cut it in, I squeeze a little bit harder and a little bit harder, but I'm also giving outward force to get a nice stretch on that jack line. Nice and tight right there. A little bit of beeswax flaring up. And I have this little cork block that I use now to shape and finish rounding out my piece. That just gives a nice round shape to it after it's been in the heat. I'm a little hot. I'm letting it cool a little bit, and I've got to go back into the heat for just a couple of seconds to warm it back up. But it's actually still too hot to warm up again. So it just takes a few moments to let it cool down.
trying to regulate the temperature between the inside of the piece and the outside of the piece. The inside's still too hot and moving, but I can't let the outside get too cold. So back into the heat for about three seconds. Press, slide. Then this next technique I'm going to do is called posting. So I come out, keep returning, waist level parallel. Then I'm going to come straight up and down with the paperweight and let it settle down on itself. The bottom will actually start to push down around the punty, creating a nice little divot. You can see it's slowly moving down. You have to be very careful here not to move too quickly or too hot. You definitely don't want to lose control and hit yourself in the face with hot glass. That would be very, very bad. And there it is. That's a nice look for the bottom. So parallel, waist level, and keep turning. I'm just letting it cool down a little bit more before we knock it off and put it away. So it has a nice look to it, nice round shape, good color, good bubbles. And keep it turning, trying to find center and keep it centered all the time. And there we're about ready to go. So stand up, keep turning, slide, back. And now we're heading over to the knockoff table. Waist level, parallel, always turning. A little bit of a final post here. Lift, straight up and down. And I'm going to knock it off into this little bucket. And then I'm going to torch in the bottom where the punty was attached. This will smooth it out and make for a pretty little bottom. Nice and easy cord. Have a little plate that I set it on. So I'm going to warm it up. A little bit more heat on the bottom. Put on my glove. I use the tongs to flip it onto the plate. And then I torch the top again as the bottom cools down. Just keep a nice little warmth to it so it doesn't get too cold. And then I'm going to put it away into the annealer, which is 920 degrees, where it stays for 12 hours to cool down. So nice and easy. Into the annealer. Set it down. And there she is. So that's a little tiny paperweight, three gathers with a nice color twist. We are just under 15 minutes from the complete start to the complete end of the project. Bye bye. Handy Boatman Blue Sage Studios, that is your demonstration on glass blowing. Andy, what do you charge for one of these sessions if you were going to allow somebody to come in and do some glass blowing here? Yep, an hour lesson is $75, $75 an hour, but you get to keep anything that you make, and we take care of all the supplies and the color and everything you need like that, as well as the instruction, which is the most valuable portion. What's the best way to get a hold of you at Blue Sage Studio to make an appointment to do some glass blowing? Email is actually best, andy at bluesagestudios.com. That's good. That's it, brother. I'll press off. Uh, red button again. <laughs>